Hi, I'm celebrity dog trainer Inger Martins and I'm here with my dog client Teddy Hilton. One of the readers wrote in and had a question about their dog was really playing tug of war with the leash and making it very difficult to walk. So Toby, the 11 month old Jack Russell, <laughs> this is for you. My pause for a minute quick tip on trying to not get your dog to play tug of war with the leash as you're trying to walk him is unfortunately you got to stop playing tug of war as a game in the house. The two don't mix. So if you are throwing this tug of war or toy around, rope toy, anything like that and your dog is growling and having a great time, it's sending your dog a mixed signal. Two, Toby's owner and if this applies to you too, if you're using anything like this to walk a dog that's wired for sound and alert and playing, mm, not a good idea. A flat leash will give you much better control on your walks and a quick tug on the leash uh, and breaking up your walks will create eye contact. Sit. Teddy, let's show them. Sit. Good sit. And that's the kind of bond you want. So. Toby's owner, you can practice walking around uh, in your house and practice having that bond with your dog on the leash. Number three is get a ball, similar to this one, and play turbo fetch with Toby before you go on the walk. Then, using the right leash, not playing tug of war anymore with him. You can reintroduce it to Toby when he's older and um, mellower. Um, all of these tips together will get, should get the effect you want. I'm Inger Martins and that's your pause for a minute quick tip.